blinding sand, sufficiently penetrating to eat into the skin of man. Torrential sheets of rain and a blazing sun combined to make a perilous steaming jungle in the Congo. The Congo, over a million square miles of the Earth's surface in the heart of the African continent, is the home of the world's wildest animals. This is the land where the professional animal agent or game hunter earns his living. His customer, the museum, the circus, the zoo. From these herds comes circus lion and the giraffe on display at the zoo. But among the rarest of all animals is the Akongo. Striped, purplish brown, short necked, relative of the bongo and the okapi. This rare species is akin to the more common antelope and zebra. Ordinarily docile, the Akongo is fierce and cunning when disturbed. It feeds upon a rare equatorial plant called the mandro. Within the glands of this animal, the mandro leaf, upon digestion, is transferred into a powerfully destructive narcotic. Here is a seldom photographed herd of Akongos. The combined value of these rare specimens is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. A prize indeed, even when their capture is not intended for the museum or the zoo or the circus. Thanks to you, Mr. Uh... Jim, Jungle Jim. I'm Ronald Cameron, an inspector with the Territorial Police. I'm on a mission, or was, into the jungle country. You lost your bearings? No, no, I've been reconnoitering. A few weeks ago, Professor Dunham, Dean of Biochemistry at Cairo University, mysteriously disappeared. He was in this area doing some research. My job is to find him. What makes you think he came into the jungle? Well, he was looking for some kind of a rare animal. Rare animal? What kind? Well, I don't quite recall the name, but it was a cross between two other animals. Must be an Okongo. Okongo? Yeah. Tamba! Tamba, come here. Come here, give me that hatchet. You've been in the Okongo country again. This is what the Okongos look like. Weird looking, aren't they? The natives carry them. Okongo natives? Primitive tribe, way back in the bush. They worship the Okongos. I hope I don't get one of these in the back of my skull. I hope not. Let's get some dry clothes out. Hey, Jim. If the chimp found the hatchet, he might know where the Okongo village is. You know, we might pick up the professor's trail there. Where'd you get this, fellow? That way or that way? <laughs> and I thought chimps were smart. 
Chimps are like people. Some are, some aren't. There's the Okongo village. Seems to be completely deserted. Not for long. Those lines are headed for it. He's gone now. Run along. Let's take a look at that village. Look, the shrine of the Congo. It's deserted, all right. All that trudging for nothing. Let's take a look around. The natives must have moved out. Looks like they fought their way out. With white men. Professor Dunham may have been with them. Maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 
was in the Congo. Yes, I... There she goes. We may walk into a trap. We'll have to take that chance. The natives are the only ones who can put us on the right track. Spirit. The women are looking at it as if it were magic. It's the native sign of obedience to the Okongo god. They don't understand how I know it. You make sign of obedience to Okongo god. How you learn that? I belong to the jungle. But where are your friends? Other white men. What other white men? The evil ones who attack our village and take our men away. What do you make of all this, Jim? Jim? Mm -hmm. You jungle Jim? That's right. I hear talking drums of jungle people speak of you. They say you are man to trust. Why did they take your tribesmen away? To use them as hunters, to make them track down and kill the sacred Okongos, the animals we worship. I don't believe it. If Professor Dunham was with them, he knows your people worship the Okongos. He certainly wouldn't have the any. The white men knew. Our chief told them. But they only laugh, call us savages. I don't understand all this. I'm sure Professor Dunham only wanted one single Congo alive as a specimen. She doesn't think so. I will go with you, Lita. No, Mahara. You must stay here to guard the young ones. But my man, Lita. 
the whites could never make him kill the sacred Okongo. He would die first. We'll bring him back. Also the others. The main herd of the Okongos, where would they be? Their feeding grounds are beyond desert. But, Jim, I thought we were going to look for the professor. If we find the Okongos, we'll find the professor. Mahara, can I go with Lita? No, you stay here. <laughs> This certainly doesn't look like the same stuff to me. Think the professor's pulling a double cross, maybe? I don't know. He's been acting kind of funny ever since Cameron left. You sent for me? Yeah, yeah, Professor. Sit down. Have a cigar? No, thanks. Uh, professor, that last the Congo you worked on there, he was the same as the others, wasn't he? Yes, of course. And uh, this is from the same Congo gland? The same. Could have made a mistake, maybe? Taking it from a different gland, maybe? It's the same that your Mr. Cameron took back to be processed. Then why is it turning yellow? It has to be processed within a week after extraction. Yeah. Right now, this is quite useless for the evil purpose Mr. Cameron intended. Well, in that case, Professor, we'll get you another one of them Congos to work on right away. I'll have nothing more to do with those animals. Oh, yes, you will, Professor. Mr. Cameron is flying back in his own plane. Should be here any time now. And he's a funny kind of boss. Gets what he wants. Yeah. And if he don't, he gets rough, maybe. Like that. Did you hurt your head, Professor? I hope not, because you're going to need it for your scientific work. Now run along, and we'll have another one of them Congos for you to work on just as soon as you had a little rest. Hmm. Queer character. Yeah, all them scientific guys are characters. Too much learning. <laughs> Help get that animal under control. Leave him alone. He's a native chief hunter. We'll need him. Got that one. Come on. I hear you've been causing a lot of trouble again. You know we don't want our work delayed. You understand me? Take care of him, Magruder. Be sure he understands. Right. What about that animal that was just brought in? I'll see that nothing happens to it. I'll send the professor to do his act. Good afternoon, Professor. We just got another subject for you. I'm not interested. He says he ain't interested in his job. Maybe I'll better persuade him. You know those animals are considered sacred by the natives. And you know I'm not impressed by savages who worship animals. You're still going to do your job. You forced me here under false pretenses. Get your equipment. I think maybe I can change his mind. I think you're going to waste your time. 
I don't think so. Ow! Alan's dead. Well, I persuaded the professor to change his mind. It doesn't make any difference now. The Okongos escaped. Who tied him up? That one. Jim, do you mind if I rest a while? I'm tired. All right, Cameron. I'll do a little scouting around. I go, too. One of your men? Yes, he's one of our tribe. I think it is Naja. He must have escaped the white men. Naja! Naja! We better overtake him. Naja! 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 Grant must have let you escape. I'll have to correct his mistake. The native attacked me. He's dead. Well, I had to defend myself. But he was unarmed. I couldn't take time to find that out. He came at me like a madman. You know, he probably thought we're some of those whites who have been making the natives prisoners. That could be. Well, what was I to do? He would have strangled me if I hadn't defended myself. The last time we got a glimpse of him, he wasn't in shape to do any harm. What are you getting at? Nothing, Cameron. Except now you've ruined all our chances of ever finding out what's going on ahead. You can't take time to figure out fine points when you're being attacked. Well, it's too bad for the poor native, and for us. Hey! 
Take back a couple more of those Congos. All right, come on, you fellas. Hurry it up, will you? Come on, man. Let's get going. Time now to try escape. Meet Roy. Use pit mate for our Congo. Go to White Settlement on Great River. Tell Chief of White Police what happens to our people. Wait till I light up. Give me one. I know what started them running away. So would I. That's the third time. Maybe I ought to talk to these natives one by one. Maybe. Uh, you could never get anything out of them. Try. Eh, uh, forget it. We got one at Congo. Nothing left for us now but to get back to camp.
One of your tribesmen? Husband of Mahara. He must have tried to escape. Poor devil, if the leopard hadn't killed him, he might have led us to the other natives and Professor Dunham's party. His trail will lead us to them. Professor, come out here. Come out here. All right, Professor, examine that animal. Go on. What's the matter, Professor? My men giving you a little trouble again? You and your men are murderers. No, no, Professor. That's no way to talk to your partner. Partner? <laughs> well, I'm nothing but a slave, like the natives. Oh, you're just tired, Professor. Yeah. You've been working too hard. Yes, with a gun in my back. That's enough, Professor. Get busy. Well, it's not a good specimen. Let it go. Remember, you tried that once before, Professor. Remember? Now, come on, get busy. All right, all right. Bring it to my tent. All right, untie the animal. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. I still think Cameron's having this done the hard way. You mean extracting the drug from the glands of the Okongos? Yeah. Why doesn't he use the narcotic plant they feed on? Wouldn't that give them the same thing? The drug's much stronger this way. Something to do with the chemical reaction in the glands of the Okongos. Why don't you ask the professor? <laughs> He'll give you the scientific explanation. Yeah. And I'm just the guy that would understand it. Maybe. Beyond desert is forbidden land of Okongo. This is only pass into desert. The mountains at other side, only one pass into Okongo country. I'm sure we never could have found our way without your help, Lita. Jungle Jim know path of desert and jungle. He would have found way. Do you think you could find your way out now, Jim? We'll get out. My people will never show way to evil white men. They are doomed never to leave. We better get across the desert before the sun is too high.
So that was the Samoon. Yeah, a mild one. But what was that animal? A desert spider. Vicious looking, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Congo speed on this very much? Yes, when they can find it. What is it? It's a mandro plant. What's that? A narcotic. Jim, do you think that's why those white men are after the Congos? Because they have a narcotic value? Maybe. Soon be ready to help Jungle Jim rescue our men. We must hurry, finish our weapons, and go. Today we're going after the whole herd of Akongos. You understand? Main herd of Akongos. Not around here. Where are they then? We do not know. Would you and your men like to get back to your wives and children? Yes, please. Then lead us to the main herd. We show you. <laughs> I thought you would. Magruder, stay here and keep an eye on the professor. Take that gland extract from him and lock it up. Right, come on. <laughs> All right, Professor. Back to camp. Dunham. 
You and Lita stay here with him. Where are you going? Follow the man who was chasing him. He leads us to the place where the natives are being held. You can't take him alone. Nothing like trying. Hammond, I knew you'd be back. Lucky I am. I see you're up to your old tricks again. I couldn't stand that murdering crew of yours any longer. You're going back to camp, and this native woman's... Glad she got away. Now get moving. This way. All right, we'll get him first and then go after the professor and the others. Becker, you and Paxson stay after the natives.
it across here. I'll have to go around the end of the ravine and pick up his trail. Come on. away. Now show us where you left the professor and the others. Come on. Longer, Lita. Try to save our men. White man Cameron, who was saved by Jungle Jim, is leader of those who hold our men captive. We must help Jungle Jim. He is fighting the evil ones alone. You've just about made a mess of everything. When I left you in charge, I thought things would be handled right. First off, you let the professor break every bottle of extract. But Cameron, I tried I want to... that whole herd of Akondos. And you, Professor, next time you'll do your work right or I'll find some nice, unpleasant way to make you do it. 
What are you gonna do about this jungle Jim? Don't worry about him. He thinks I'm his friend. If I know Jungle Jim, he'll try to reach me and the girl tonight with the idea of trying to set us free. We'll have some nice reception committees waiting for him. And mind you, I want him taken alive. I thought I heard something. Oh, are you hearing things again? Jungle Jim came to help you escape. You see, today, white men tried to kill you. Nita let us hear from your village, but I lost her and a white man. Leader not here. Only one here is Cameron, the leader. We bring back Professor. We'll tackle Cameron later. Right now, I must try to help you escape. Now, maybe Cameron was wrong. I don't think Jungle Jim's gonna show up. Yes, thanks to you, I'm back here again. Well, we all make mistakes. I hope you don't make another. Meaning what? You're going to help us hunt that herd of the Congos. What makes you think I'll help you? You're no fool, Jim. You know I wouldn't stop at anything to get that herd. If I help you find your Congos? Then nobody gets hurt. Only the Congos. Take your choice. It's either the Congos or you, the professor, and the natives. You wouldn't be stalling, would you? We've already searched half the jungle. Tomorrow, if we march well, we will be across the desert. Mahara, I will march with you. No, Aguirre, you have a duty here. I will take my place with you to fight for our people. You must take charge of those who will someday be our warriors. Now we go. Congo tracks, and I suppose you just didn't happen to see them. No, I didn't see them. The Congos are around here. Come on, then. Start spreading out. Come on. All right, you now start tracking. Those are fresh tracks, aren't they? Are they? You know they are, and that means the Congos are near here. Now get busy. You heard me. Find that Congo herd. <coughs> 
Maybe I can spot him from up there. Okay, but don't try anything. up ahead. Have your men and the natives spread out. Spread out! Spread out! Come down from there.
We'd be happy if you stay for celebration. We roast wild boar from roots of baya tree and roots of timia. We bake banana in juice of wild berry. This will indeed be a feast, but my work awaits at Cairo. Jungle Jim, you will join us? I'll be back. I wouldn't miss it. Goodbye. people who know where those diamonds are. I can get it out of them. Curly, Ioka. You ought to know that strong arm stuff won't work with me. All right, hero, have it your own way. Put him under. A sky you haven't flown through yet. They're all the same to me, brother. This way.
Use that gun and it'll be too bad for your friend Curly. He ain't kidding, Algo. He's got a knife. Beat it, I'll cover for you. Come on. I'll take him. Don't worry, Dr. Meredith will have you running around again in no time at all. for you, Doctor. Kimbu has a large splinter in his leg. We have to get back to the plane and uh, load the gas. As long as Latimer's on a rampage, we'll need these. Well, then you want me to help you. You better take care of the kid first. You can come over and help us as soon as you finish with him. We've got to hurry. All ready, Dad. the wrong instrument. Oh. I don't know what's the matter with me. I... Wait, Dad. I'm sure I can handle it. Oh, would you, dear? I don't seem to be quite equal to the task yet. Maybe I, maybe I'd better go and help the boys load the gasoline. Yes, Dad, I'm sure they'll need all the help they can get.
Brad. Where are you going, Brad? I was going to the plane. Stanton and Curly are figuring on pulling out just as soon as they get the gasoline loaded. You wouldn't be running out on us, would you? No, Latimer, you know. You know I wouldn't do anything like that. I just had a narrow escape when the, when the girl asked me to take a sliver out of Kimbo's leg. That scar on your arm. I told you to keep it covered. Anybody see it? No. Nobody had a chance to see it but the girl, and I'm sure she didn't. Good. And nobody knows you're not the real Dr. Meredith. Those diamonds belong to you. Just go to Stanton and ask him to give them to you. But I... Ah, oh, we've waited long enough. Brock and Claggett will go with you to take care of Stanton and his pals when they hand them over. How does it feel, Kimball? Fine. You good, Doctor. We go now? Not yet. Got something more important to attend to. You better go over here and rest for a while. I've got to warn the boys. You're not going to warn anybody. Medical instruments, microscope, passport, fingerprints. Smart girl. Smart enough to know when a man is posing as my father. Who is he? His twin brother. Where is my father? Your father met with an accident in Kimberval, and, uh... And you killed him. I wouldn't say that. Maybe the authorities will when I tell them. You're not going to tell them. What do you mean? I mean you're not going to get a chance to tell them. Brad ought to be coming along with those diamonds by now. Yeah. There's a good spot for our job.
You boys will never know how much you've helped me by getting these diamonds. <laughs> That's all right, Doc. Nyoka's going directly from the village to the plane, you know. Well, let's get over there, then. You get Curly. I'll take Stamp. time. Time that stretch you've been wanting. And best of all, time to take your pick from that scrumptious array of tasty treats waiting for you at the snack bar, where the popcorn's poppin', the cold drinks are sparkling, the hot dogs are sling, the coffee is steaming, and a luscious treasure of confectionery delights with ice cream and candy, and so much more to tempt any taste, is waiting for you now at the snack bar. You'll be notified in plenty of time when the next show is about to begin. Its towering trees and tall grass betray the naked eye. But the piercing, thunderous roar that pervades the density of the forest makes clear that this is no mere wilderness. It is the kingdom of animals, where the savage lion rules violently. The crafty leopard on the prowl he attacks and devours the beast of prey. Here is the land of monkeys. The mischievous monkey avoids the carnivorous crocodile. Here, where strength is matched by cunning and treachery by brute force. It is the home of the tribesmen. Call him barbarian, call him savage. He is the hunter or the hunted. His is to kill or be killed. He is the native of the jungle. It is not the leopard's fangs nor the lion's claws that he fears. These are the dangers he can cope with. But when the white man sets foot in the jungle and cuts a path through the tropical thicket, there is another, a new kind of danger that penetrates the jungle. It is no longer a problem of survival. It is now a question of greed.
now we ain't got a chance to find the hidden city. Well, it was either them or us. I don't want one of these things in my ribs. Yeah, but how are we going to explain this to Captain Rollins? His orders was to trail them so they'd lead us to the spot. Maybe they're playing possum. They ain't playing. What are we going to do now? We can't go back to the ship. Let's follow the trail they was taking. Maybe it'll lead us to some of their tribes. That's a good idea. causing trouble. Come on, Skip, let's go find out what it's all about. One of their tribe, all right. Thank <laughs> you. 
with those others? You speak English. In my land, many tongues are spoken. Who are you? What land are you from? I'm called Liwana. Those men, you come not with them? No, I live here in the jungle. Then you are Jungle Jim, the one I seek. How did you know my name? The talking drums of your jungle friends carry far, even to Zam. Zam? The hidden city beyond the mountains? Zam is no longer a secret. The white men know of it. The men from the settlement by the sea, they seek to find it and steal its treasures. Those two won't bother you anymore. But others will. They seek to find it. That's why I come to beg your help. I'd like to help you, but what can I do? Come with me to Zam and you shall learn. This is the land of Zar. Father, this is the one we seek, Jungle Jim. My father, Zoran, leader of the people of Zam. Welcome, my friend. Your presence heartens me. Two escorts I sent with you, Luana. I see them not. They lie dead in the jungle, slain by white men. And the white men? A lion got them. Go find our departed ones and bring them to the temple. Only then will their souls be at rest. Bloodshed, strife, violence. It was to escape such evil that our ancestors settled here. You can't escape it, Zoran. I know, I tried. Yet the men of your tribe leave you in peace. Why not us? Maybe because I haven't got anything anybody wants. You've seen then as you journeyed across our land that we are a peaceful people. 
we till the soil, and we dig in the deep pits of the mountains for the hidden bounty of the earth. You are working people, not warriors. Then come. I will show you to what toil our service is given. you see is set with crystal. Crystal? Diamond. The crystals are put into the earth by the Most High and must be used only in his service. Do your people worship these idols? No, my son. We worship only the Most High. The idols are but symbols of his unseen presence. It is this sacred treasure that has aroused the greed of the white men on the coast. They seek to invade and to despoil us. Well, a few of your men can hold a mountain pass against hundreds. True, but we are sworn against combat. Well, you mean you're going to stand by and let them... Invade our sacred land? No. But if we satisfy their greed, they may leave us in peace. It is our hope that in exchange for these, they will molest us no more. You will take these crystals to the white men as a peace offering? Supposing after they saw those, they wanted more. You understand the white men, my friend. You can reason with them. That is why we sought your aid. All right. It's late now. I'll start early in the morning. For my people, I thank you, my son. You give us new courage. There's only one other thing. How do white men know about this place? We know not. We can only suspect that in our midst there dwells a traitor. Traitor? Do you like this one, Norina? Oh, Chuck, this is even prettier than the one you brought last time. There are others even more beautiful. Could you take me to see them? Sometime, perhaps. Norina. Yes, Chad? Norina, many gifts will I bring you. Let's go to the beach. Uncle, look what Chad brought me. Hmm, rather pretty, Chad. If you have any more with the glass in them, I'll be glad to buy them and make a trade. No, no, Mr. Calhoun. They're for loved ones. We're going for a swim. It's a shortcut to the cove. Hey, Captain. Ain't that shot with Norena? Oh, it couldn't have been shot. Walker and Avery aren't back yet. Captain, maybe he caught them trailing them home and ducked them in the jungle. If he did, they'd been back by now. Yeah, I guess you're right. Sure looks like shot, though. Wonder who it was. Well, Calhoun, have you found out anything yet? He can't find out nothing. Tell that ape to lay off, Rollins. Go buy yourself a drink, Wilson. Rollins, what makes you think you can cross me? It makes you think I'm trying to. Those two men you put on Chot's trail the other day. How'd you know that? Chot told Norena he saw them following him. All right, so I sent him. What of it? Just this. Either you let me and Norena handle Chot, or I'll call off our deal. Oh, no, you won't. You need me and my men to get the treasure out of Zom. And you need me and Norena to locate it through Chot. Yeah, maybe you're right. 
Only Narina's not getting anywhere with it. She will if you don't scare him off. He's jumpy enough as it is. So am I. I want action. You'll get it. Not from Narina. She's been working on shot for weeks. What has she got out of him? This. night has given you new strength for the dangerous journey. I'm ready. If you succeed, our people will continue to live in peace and contentment. I'll do my best. Chot. This is Chot, brother of Liwana. Our friend is the one called Jungle Jim. He undertakes a mission for us. He takes a peace offering of many crystals to the Rand settlement. What troubles you, Chot? Have you no faith in our friend? Is it not my duty as your son to perform such a mission? Well spoken, Chot. But the task requires knowledge of the white man's mind. Do you have that, my son? No, my father. May a clear eye guide you, my friend, and a strong arm defend you. Thank you, Zoran. I may need both. Skipper, you stay here with Lawana.
Calhoun. I didn't expect you back so soon, Chuck. I'm looking for Norena. In here. Did you ever try knocking first? You have a visitor. Oh, Chuck. Well, I better leave you two lovebirds alone. Oh, no, Mr. Calhoun. Please remain. Soon a white man will come with a gift from my people. You must tell him nothing of me, lest I... Not so fast, Chot. What gift? And what man? He is called Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim? Do you know him? I've heard the natives mention him. He's quite a guy, according to them. Now, what's this about a gift he's bringing? It is a peace offering from my people. In return, you must promise to forget Zam forever. And I must never see you again. Oh, no, Chot, I can't let you go. I can't. Oh, forgive I me, can't. no, Rena, but I must go. Oh, but you can't. Take me with you, please. It is forbidden for any white person to live in my land. Then you must come back to me. You must. If it is written in the stars, I'll be back. Until then, Norena. Bye. <laughs> What's so funny? If it is written in the stars, I will be back. Goodbye. <laughs> Why'd you let him get away? Well, what'd you expect me to do? Go with him. Are you crazy? Do you think I'm going to follow him through the jungle? Well, I'm going to.
box to get another pearl diver? But I thought you went after shot. I changed my mind. Lucky. So was he. You one of the sailors? No, I live on the other side of the hill. Oh, the jungle. Right. My name's Narina. Jim. Just Jim. Just Jim, eh, from the jungle? That's right. The pearl divers work for my uncle, Mr. Calhoun. He'll want to thank you. He must be pretty important around here. He is. He runs the post, the inn, just about everything. I'd like to meet your uncle. you go after that shark. I want to congratulate you, Mr. Jim, Jungle Jim. Uh, sit down. Sit down. Have a drink. What do you have? Coconut milk. Coconut milk? That's right. Well, Jim, what do you think about thriving little settlement? I understand you run things around here, Calhoun. Let's say I just guide them. That's your ship out in the bay there? Belongs to a friend of mine, Captain Rollins. Good friend? Might say that. Partner, maybe? Maybe. Well, is he or isn't he? All right, he is. OK. I guess these belong to you, then. What do I have to do for this? Don't you know? You tell me. I imagine Chop told you. Where are you going with the rest of those? To see your partner. Take it easy. And leave him to Rollins? No, leave him to me. Your skipper, where is he? Put that away and tell your captain I've got something for him. Wait here. And you'd better send some of the boys out to look for Welker and Avery. They should have been back by now. Somebody aboard, Captain. Calhoun? You Captain Rollins? Yeah. How did you get aboard? These belong to your men? Welker and Avery. Where did you get these? Near Zom. Z Beat it. What happened to Welker and Avery? They got in the way of a lion and got killed. How do I know you didn't kill them? You don't. Take it easy, or you won't get these. Diamonds. And you're giving them to me? I'm not. The people of Zamar. What do I do for them? Just keep away from them. What if I don't? You won't get them. I already got them. And I got you. 
Maybe I can make you show us where Zom is. Would you like to try? Yeah. Get him, Wilson. Go! <laughs> Say, you're all right. Maybe I don't know you better. You will if you bother my friends in Zom. Wouldn't think of it now. I always quit when I'm ahead. You want to make sure of that? I am. I'm going to show her now to celebrate my last night in this port. Want to help me? No, but I'll watch. Come on. I wonder if he told Rawlins where the place is. Not him. Tell Rawlins to let me take care of this big boy from the jungle. Sure you can? What do you think? Why talk now? Don't you want to ask me some questions? Yes, if you know all the answers. Some of them. About Zom and how to get there. Why should I want to know? So you and your friends can get the rest of the diamonds? Well, maybe I was supposed to try and get some information out of you. But maybe I changed my mind. Now, what would make you do that? Maybe you. Very flattering, but not very convincing. You fool! I could have let Calhoun and Rollins work on you, but I didn't. I brought you here. So you can work on me yourself? No, to warn you to get away and to ask you to take me with you. Where to, Zom? Oh, what's the use? I try to be on the level with you, and you kick me in the face. Go on, get out of here while you're still alive. Go on, beat it. Now, are you going to tell us how to get to the City of Diamonds? Or do you want me to knock it out of you? Come on, where is it? Now, you ready to talk? you to the mountains this night. I'm waiting for word from Jungle Jim. Or spying on me? Why should I spy on you? Unless you were to the jungle. Beyond it? Shot. You were to the white man's settlement. Yes, my sister. Many times. You... I tried to make peace with him. I went back to plead with him. And Jungle Jim, did he not succeed? I don't know. They followed me along the trail. I lost them, but they'll follow him, too. Then we must warn him. No, Lewanda. We can never set foot beyond the jungle again. The white man is cunning. He'll trail us to our land. Where are you going? To the temple to seek our father. Then go alone, that you may find solace in your confession. And you? I shall never rest until I'm sure no danger befalls our jungle friend. Oh. 
about you, too? No, Jim, I came to release you. If I take you to Zom? Just take me with you to the jungle. I thought so. Uh, no! No! no. on that guy? You'll never get anything out of him. Yeah? Well, he'll talk or I'll... Maybe we ought to go back to work on Marina again. Hmm? She's dead. I caught her trying to help him get away. You were supposed to meet him here, weren't you? No, no. Don't give me that. Why else would you be here? Forget about her. Let's go after him. Why do it the hard way? He'll be back after his girl, I tell you. We're not even sure she is his girl. No? You heard her calling to him, didn't you? Look at her face. She's his girl, all right. Take her to the ship. Skipper, don't oh. go after Jim, no! Oh. His dog, huh? Maybe his dog will bring him back quicker than I thought. Come on. Why didn't you stay with Luana like I told you to?
Joe Jack, you and Lurch guard the small boat. And look out for that jungle guy. Let me go to work on the girl. I'll make her talk. Like you made him talk. If it wasn't for Noreen and Calhoun, he never would have Shut done. up, you! Say, maybe the girl can lead us to Zahn. Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing is sure. He'll come back for her.
The girl, she got away. Jungle Jim? I don't know. I didn't see him. He you don't know. Man the shovel! Look alive there! Hang it fast! Hurry, hurry! Grab an arm! chance. Are you ready to lead us to the hidden city? Maybe she can convince you. You sure you don't know the way through the jungle? No, she doesn't. Then you'll have to take us. All right, Calhoun. You like to use the knife. Why don't you? Five paces. And I'll bet you a diamond a pace you can't hit the mark the first time. That's a bet. <laughs> Wilson, the young lady moved that time. Calhoun, you owe me five diamonds. Double or nothing. Okay, Calhoun, double or nothing. All right, I'll show you. You lead us through the jungle? Yeah. Kazam? Yeah. Good. No, Jim. Stop! like that, you better keep them away. Or I'll get her before they get us. Come on.
The sun has twice risen and twice set since you came into the temple. I seek understanding. It is written that the people of Zam, like the people beyond the mountains and beyond the waters, are mere mortals. I seek forgiveness, too. To devote one's life to the service of the Most High is to be forgiven. No, my father. I have angered the Most High, and the fury of the gods has descended on the village. <laughs>
December. She goes too. Follow me. Hand me your gun. Father, to forgive me. I meant no harm. Not forever, Luana. Your people have great courage. Even more than courage, they have faith. You speak truly, Jungle Jim. With courage and faith, Zam will rise again. folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.